In today's world, we have a lot of children of famous parents who grow up and choose their own paths in life, and Michael Jackson's kids are no exceptions. A few days ago, the media spread the news that Paris Jackson, the daughter of the late King of Pop, will play in an independent thriller with Bella Thorne. This wouldn't be that much of a surprise, right? But the beautiful blue-eyed girl plays Jesus. Yes, you heard that right, Michael Jackson's daughter will play in a movie called Habit. What is this movie all about and what is happening to her brothers? Are the Jackson sons going to enter the world of show business as well? To find out all of the answers to these questions, hit the bell and subscription button and stay with me to find out all about it. So let's begin. Being the child of a famous person is not easy. The spotlight is on you throughout your life, and Paris Jackson is pretty familiar with all of these feelings. The only daughter of Michael Jackson has been following in the footsteps of her father and trying her hand in show business for several years as the only one of the three children of the late King of Pop. A few years ago, when the star's firstborn son was asked if he wanted to follow the artistic path, he confessed that his younger sister was the one with the greatest talent. Prince Jackson himself is rarely involved in the media and stays out of the spotlight. He often gives interviews and accompanies Paris during important events, such as the Grammy Awards for example, when in 2010, him and his sister received the Lifetime Achievement Award on behalf of their late father. It seems though that, however, Prince is not attracted to gaining popularity. When he was asked by journalists if he would like to use his fame, he said that he would be happy to do it, but only for a specific reason, a good purpose, in order to spread the good and help people. Doesn't he sound extraordinary? What's more, it wasn't just words thrown to the wind, because he began to act upon it in this direction. A few years ago, the young man founded a charity, which aims to help children and people who have experienced domestic violence, homelessness, and hunger. He added then that he only wants his private life for himself, and although the media is obviously interested in Jackson's firstborn son, the 23-year-old boy today is constantly trying to avoid unnecessary publicity. The youngest son of Jackson, Prince Michael Jackson II, aka Blanket, like his older brother, likes that he stays away from show business. Although in this matter, it is not known whether the boy is absent from the media by his own choice or whether it was kept away from his world. At the time of his father's death, he was only 7 years old and he was under legal protection of his grandmother, Catherine Jackson much longer than his siblings, and as you know, both Michael and his family's life was surrounded by many scandals and legends that did not end after he left. And according to Mark Lester, Blanket's godfather, the teenager was simply isolated from the world by his grandmother. However, whether the boy decides to go in the direction of fame or not will be revealed soon because in February of this year, he turns 18. Blanket was reportedly silent as a child and avoided the company of other people. So using what is known about him, it can be argued that he would rather prefer to stay in the shadow of Jackson's name and live his peaceful life. The situation is a little different with Paris, who is the most popular among the three. Michael, as you might have known, tried to make his children grow as far from the flashlight as possible, which he succeeded for years. I mean, covering your children's faces is something that only Michael did. Both Paris and her brothers most often wore masks because their father wanted them to be anonymous. However, just after his death, everything changed. There was no other choice for the kids but to say goodbye to their father in front of millions of cameras and people. Maybe Michael's family could have handled it differently and had covered the faces of the kids, but when you're mourning, you don't really think about these things. Since then, practically all media attention focused mainly on the girl. And as it turned out, in addition to her phenomenal beauty, there were other reasons that she has become the topic of many articles. In the following years, Paris's private life and her difficult stage of growing up became fuel for the gossip media. And there were so many dramas in Paris's relationships and private life. When the then 11-year-old Paris lost her dad, she began to struggle with depression, which over the years led several times to an attempt to take her own life. And gossip websites also wrote about her contacts with her mother and rebuilding their relationship. What of course was a hot topic for the press is that the girl did not meet her mother until she was 15 years old. Debbie Rowe was Michael's wife for three years, and during this time, she had two children. On February 13th of 1997, Prince Michael Jackson I was born on April the 3rd of 1998 in Paris. 
She had no contact with her son and daughter because after the divorce, she granted Jackson full rights to care for the children. No wonder that the kids strongly connected with only one parent, and they can't easily survive their loss very much. There are many legends about the musician, as well as various controversial and unpleasant accusations. However, no one can undermine his enormous fatherly love. He raised his children two good and sensitive people who always talked to their dad with great respect and tenderness. And what's more, the siblings have great affection for each other and always support one another. Jackson's children have already gone through a lot, far too much. All three survived the persecution for the King of Pop, which was very hard. It's not surprising that it's difficult for them to endure endless pain of accusations against a diseased star associated with the exploitation of others. For Paris, Prince, and Blanket, he was just a beloved parent who would do anything for them. Well, through everything they've experienced, it's no wonder that Prince and Blanket are unwilling to enter the cruel world of show business. Am I right? However, it should not surprise anyone that after such a talented father, Paris, who is feeling an artistic need to express herself, is looking for her way. The girl often appears in public on various occasions and she also appears on television programs. She plays in a band, she's a model, and is now getting ready for the next screen performance. And as you heard at the beginning of the video, in the thriller Habit, she will play the role of Jesus. Yes, that is not a joke, but I'm gonna tell you about that in a moment. First, I would like to talk about her music career. Paris works in her own way and is unlikely to hit the sounds that sell enough to conquer the international arena. However, she creates her piece of the musical world. She has her own folk rock band called Soundflowers. This group is a duo that Paris creates with Gabriel Glenn, who is very close to her heart. And although she herself doesn't talk about her private issues in interviews, Glenn is undeniably someone special and very important in her life. Jackson's daughter in the band sings, plays the guitar, and writes lyrics. They have songs like Daisy, In the Blue, and Your Look. However, they are not commercial at all and do not get millions of hits on the networks. And as you might have guessed, Paris is not bothered by it at all. The 22-year-old does not plan to have a professional music career. Everyone can think that with her name, she could achieve a lot. Fans of the girl's voice, who are waiting for the moment until she shows the whole world that she can do it, might get disappointed. As she confessed in one of the interviews, that she believes that if she began to treat this occupation as a way of career, her attitude to music would change. And I don't really want it to happen. Well, her activities and probably just art are for the sake of art. Do you think that time will come and she wants a bigger career and thousands of fans? I doubt it. But despite the lack of need associated with the surfacing of the world of the music scene, the 22-year-old Paris Jackson is taking bolder steps in the world of show business today. You might know that the movie with her presence, which has been a hot topic for several days, is not the first production she has ever made. Paris has debuted in the Fox series Star, which premiered at the end of 2016. Then she appeared in the movie Gringo, where well-known Hollywood names such as Charlize Theron and Amanda Seyfried played in it. She also appeared in the series Scream Resurrection, where in addition to there, there was also Mary J. Blige, Tyga, and Kiki Palmer. Apart from that, Paris could be seen in videos, for example, in the video for the song Rescue Me by Jared Leto from 30 Seconds to Mars. In fact, Paris still can't really decide whether she wants to be more of a singer or maybe an actress, or maybe she already decided and simply involves her activities in each area just a little bit. And after a series of musical experiments with her band, Michael's daughter decided to return to the big screen. And so, this time she will perform in the upcoming independent film Habit. The shooting for it has already been partially completed and the picture is in the post-production phase. As the creators have already revealed, the thriller's plot will focus on a young woman who is played by the 22-year-old Bella Thorne Disney star, and it is about a girl who enjoys a party lifestyle, gets entangled in a murky case of trafficking in illegal substances, and to avoid further trouble and responsibility for her offenses, she comes up with the idea of hiding through disguise as a nun. You're probably wondering where the figure of Jesus, played by Paris Jackson, is supposed to be incarnated in all of this. Well, it turns out that in the film directed by Janelle Shirtcliffe, the main character has a fetish of Jesus, and that's how Paris's face is going to appear in the movie several times. The unusual role of young Jackson raises little controversy not only because as a woman she plays the male historical biblical character, but also because Paris is far from being a saint. 
There are many problems that she's trying to leave behind, but they haven't left her life yet. Also, she leads a slightly hippie lifestyle, which has repeatedly been the reason for many rumors. It's worth mentioning that in addition to the supporting role of Paris Jackson, there will also be other surprises. For example, Gavin Rosdale from the rock group Bush, Gwen Stefani's ex-husband and the father of her three children, as well as the Chinese singer Josie Ho and Alison Mozart and Jamie Hintz from The Kills, will perform in the movie. During the conversation with Entertainment Weekly producer Donovan Leitch, revealed that other musicians could be expected in the cast because the creators filled the film with other musicians and made sure that he had a strong rock soundtrack. The movie's release date has not yet been disclosed. Are you curious to know how Paris will cope with this unusual role? We can't ignore the fact that Jackson's daughter is pretty famous. However, it seems like she's not going to get popularity by force. Her Instagram, on which she is very active currently, has 3.5 million fans, which is not that much of a big number considering everything, but also Paris rather works in the industry in her own way and does what she likes, and it seems whatever she does as artists are the things that she likes and enjoys, and she's not pushing or planning on having a big career. Considering that she only accepts offers that interest her, what do you think made her play Jesus? Is it strange that a woman will play a male biblical historical figure? Do you think that Paris is talented at all? Are you even curious to know how the movie will be like? Let's talk about it and let me hear your thoughts in the comments. And remember to like and share and become part of our Curious Sips family by subscribing to our channel. Oh, and also don't forget about our Instagram account. Until next time guys!